be here. My name is Sandra Laurent, and I'm honored and thrilled to be your co-host for this wonderful event, the launch of a three-year countdown to Toronto's Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games and its art and culture. Feliz Dia de los Juegos Panamericanos y para Panamericanos. Esto es muy emocionante. Mi nombre es Sandra Laronde y es un honor de estar aquí. The most dazzling performers, the most virtuosic voice in the country. Entertainment Weekly has dubbed him as one of the most creative people alive today. He's Dora. Uh, award-winning, Gemini award-winning, he's multi-talented, multilingual, and he's worked with people like Peter Gabriel, Robert Lafage, and he's performed his hilarious one-man show, McHomer, in 170 cities on five continents to more than a half a million fans. He's performed his play, Bigger Than Jesus, around the world in, get this, in English, French, German, and Italian. And for the three years, he's hosted ABC's prime hit series, Just for Laughs. Without further ado, the incomparable Rick Miller. Thank you very much, both Robin and director, producer, choreographer, and performer, an all-around creative leader in Canada. The pride of Timagami, Ontario, as she reminded me, pronounced like monogamy. She's the founder and artistic director of Red Sky, Canada's leading company of world indigenous performance in dance, theater, and music. Red Sky has performed to hundreds of thousands of people on four continents. Only one less than me, but we're not okay. counting. That's all right. <laughs> Sandra's been recognized with an honorary doctorate degree from Trent University, an Ontario Good Citizenship Medal, a Toronto City Council Aboriginal Affairs Award, a Fleck Fellowship in the Arts, and her company recently garnered Adora from Toronto, two Canadian Aboriginal Music Awards, and way too many awards to mention, way more awards than me. How about that, Sandra? And she's the director of Indigenous Arts at the Banff Centre, Sandra, sought after artist, leader in Canada, Sandra Laurent. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Wow, we're done for tonight. Thank you very much. For <laughs> So let's send out a big thank you to tonight's DJ for the awesome music leading off the evening, starting from scratch. And if you already don't know his work, you should. He's Canada's foremost urban club and radio DJ, and you can hear him daily on Flow 93.5 FM and around the world at clubs and concerts. John Legend, Beanie Man, The Few, The Fugees, Cardinal Officeau, Russell Pierce, he's worked with them all. So let's hear it for Starting From Scratch. And right after DJ Scratch, we heard an electrifying composition up there from the Deva Quartet. Can you please uh, wave and uh, wave your magic wands up there? And if you're not sure which was the Deva Quartet and which was DJ Scratch, you have a problem. We can talk about it in the back later. They're the ones in the dresses. Deva is the act that featured four incredibly talented, classically trained, and even from here, stunningly beautiful performers. They played with Diana Krall, Josh Groban, Peter Gabriel, Feist, and Sarah McLaughlin, and they're fast becoming stars in their own right. Hey Rick, did you know that the name Deva derives from Sanskrit? It means dark heavenly being? I didn't know that other than on the script. I did not know that. And she speaks Sanskrit too, ladies and gentlemen. No. <laughs> now speaking of heavenly, how about that for a transition? The piece that they just played was exactly what we needed to kick this evening off in the right spirit. What was it called? And that piece was called Tell Me How You Really Feel. And they'll be back later on this evening to perform again. So let's hear it one more time for Deva Quartet and DJ Starting Scratch. All right. Now keep things moving here. Je viens de Montréal. Est-ce qu'il y a des personnes qui viennent de Montréal ici? Any Montrealers here? Bon, okay. And uh, anyone from Tomogamy here? <laughs> no? <laughs> Pronounced like Monopoly? Okay. Now, like many other artists in Canada, Sandra and I call Toronto home. And the, the three years from today, the Pan Am Games will open here in this fair city. And we feel that there's no better place to celebrate these games. No more deserving and no more appropriate place. Now, nearly half the population of the GTA was born outside Canada. Raise your hands if you were born outside Canada. Any hey, how about that for Toronto, right there? And this is one of the most diverse, most cosmopolitan cities in the world. 
These are the people's games. Ce sont les jeux du peuple. And we welcome and celebrate all citizens tonight. Ce soir, vous allez voir la richesse de notre communauté culturelle, the richness of our cultural community. And did you know that the 2015 Games will bring even more athletes together than the 2010 Olympic Games in Vancouver? Wow. Yes. More than 10,000 athletes, coaches, and officials from 41 countries competing in 48 sports at 43 venues. And the games will be, this Games will be the largest multi-sporting event in the history of Canada. How about that? Huh? Yeah. just about sport, they're about art and culture of all the participating countries. The value of culture to international sporting events is more and more recognized, and it's an opportunity to educate, inspire, and enjoy. Of course, Sandra and I being performers, we know that we have a lot in common with athletes, other than them being in much better shape than we are. We actually have the same certain talent. We need to have talent, we need to have passion, tenacity, Determination, these are all things we have in common. You have to, to train and practice your body for years, despite what your mind tells you. Sometimes even what some critics tell you, you've got to keep going, and it's never time to quit. And you have to truly love what you do, because you're going to make a lot of sacrifices along the world, along the way. Focus on your goal, your dream of standing up on the podium, and sometimes the exclusion of everything else. Now, Canada has done very well in past games. Anyone know what uh, position we finished in in Rio in 2007? What place? Third, third place in Rio. In, uh, in Guadalajara, Mexico in 2011, we finished in fifth place. That's right, a little gentleman over there raised his hand. And if, of course, in the hometown crowd, are we going to finish ahead of fifth place this time? Yeah? All right. Yes. Yes, we will. Okay, and now, from the party that definitely finished first, in the last federal election. We now wait, like to welcome, just suis ravi d'accueillir l'honorable Bal Gozal, Ministre d'État au Sport. It's my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Bal Gozal, Minister of State for Sport. See, as this morning, we uh, proclaimed this day as, uh, as the Pan and Para Pan American game. In three short years, we will be welcoming all of Americas to our great city, Toronto and surrounding area, all of GTA. And as you're going to see tonight, we see all these different pianos. It's games are not just about sport, it's also about culture and art. That's what you're going to see tonight, that's what you're going to enjoy tonight. And uh, as a proud partner of 2015 Games, Government of Canada, Prime Minister Stephen Harper, we want to welcome all of Americas to our great nation as we celebrate our passion for sport, share our pride in our diverse cultures and highlight our creative spirit. Once again, uh, on behalf of the Government of Canada, I want to wish all the organizers a great success. Uh, enjoy the evening. Uh, I want to introduce uh, my good friend, Honorable Charles Sousa, Minister of Multiculturalism and uh, Sports for uh, Government of Ontario. Art and music. The Pan and Pair Pan American Games are indeed the people's games, with athletes representing over 41 different countries. And Toronto is home to the most diverse population in the world, as you know, where our multiculturalism communities have come together as neighbors. And I know that you're going to see a lot of enthusiasm all over the city of Toronto and the region leading up and during the games. But this is not just about sports. This is also about coming together as Ontarians and standing proud. Together as we showcase our province and our communities to the hundreds of thousands of visitors who are expected to attend the Games. And I've seen firsthand the pride that the Games inspire in their host communities and how people come together to make them such a spectacular celebration of sport. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to wish you all a very great evening of musical delight it's going to be an outstanding accomplishment of so many pianos playing at the same time. We're going to be thrilled this evening, and I'm looking forward to it. But right now, I'd like to welcome to the podium a councillor of the great city of Toronto. He's the chair of the city's uh, Pan Am Secretariat. The very colorful and, well, frankly, a little bit depressed today because I'm always looking forward to having him wear a bow tie. But uncharacteristically, he's slumming today. Folks, welcome the Councillor of Toronto, Mark Grimes.
Mr. Gauzel is here. I'd also like to uh, welcome Sharon Mather, Senior VP of Communications and Public Relations for CIBC. You'll be hearing uh, from her later on. And also I saw Ian Troop out here, our CO, Ian Troop, and our Chair, Roger Garland here tonight. So welcome to yeah. Today at Ethan Phil Square we had a countdown, three years uh, to the event. And if you ask Mr. Troop, it's not three years, it's 195 days, we heard that later. That's Tomorrow will be 194. For, for Charles for his math and it's going to go by very quickly there's a lot to do and I know Toronto's up to the task uh, and there's a great event we had this afternoon and tonight we're here to a very neat concert to launch the Play Me I'm Yours project this will be the first time the Play Me I'm Yours street project has come to Toronto and we are very proud to be hosting such a wonderful cultural event the 41 pianos which represent all of the participating Pan Am countries will be placed in locations across the city and I encourage all residents to seek them out and showcase your own diverse musical talents. And that does not count for you, Charles, because I've seen Charles play the piano. And if I hear him play Twinkle Twinkle one more, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star one more time, I'm going to be, uh, never mind. We are very proud to Toronto to host the 2015 Games and host City as a special role to play as we prepare for the next three years to welcome athletes and visitors from across the globe to our dynamic city. The Games will not only leave Toronto with a lasting legacy, and new and improved sporting facilities that all residents and business will be able to enjoy but will also offer a unique opportunity for our city to showcase our diversity, talent and cultural assets and attractions. Over the next three years I encourage all the residents of Toronto and the region to get engaged in the games, learn about our preparations, watch for volunteer opportunities and take pride in our city as we prepare to host the 2015 Pan American and Parapan Games. Viva Toronto! will be released this September. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, please welcome writer, musician, producer, and talk show host extraordinaire, Gian Goveshi. It's not a bad thing, it's kind of a dream anyway, so. Uh, and I, I did try and clean up, I'm sorry, I, um, uh, I'm Iranian, so I shaved two hours ago, but this, Thank you. I thought you'd like diverse group. You enjoy the racial humor. Um, I am, <laughs> I am doing a, a cultural. I've been asked to do a cultural love letter to Toronto in the spirit of the QSAs that I do. So, uh, and we've not even rehearsed it. <laughs> but my old friend Andrew Craig is at the grand piano there, and he's going to provide uh, the musical accompaniment. I have no idea what he's going to do. We're jamming. Uh, in front of all these people. So, Andrew, take it away and don't distract me, please. Well, hi there. Happy Tuesday. And happy Pan Am slash Parapan Am Day! Yes, yes. That's what this day, July 10th, in this incredible city of ours, Toronto, has been dubbed. And as you may know, strictly speaking, today marks exactly three years until Toronto's Pan Am Games open in the summer of 2015. But really, today is dedicated to the efforts of the athletes, the organizers, community groups, artists and citizens who will make Toronto's Pan Am Games a reflection of the very best of this city. When we eventually look back on the success of the Toronto Games, it will be thanks to the people of this city, and of course to the verve of its visitors. And sure, those are pretty clear ingredients for success, but it's also just how this city's been operating lately, and I'm not talking about City Hall, but on the streets, in its vivid patchwork of neighborhoods, people by citizens of the world, the collusion and collision of cultures that makes this place a blueprint for a future city that will be replicated around the globe. Nowhere is as culturally diverse as Toronto. Nowhere. And nobody does it better. Look, Toronto is no longer just a world-class city as we tried so hard for it to be for so long. It's actually something much more, much more beautiful. It's a global city with increasing self-confidence and a nearly mystical harmony. You see, in Toronto, for the most part, regardless of what sensationalistic headlines may sometimes say, the caring citizens here have elevated harmonious living to a fine art. It's done in many ways, raising the bar, but the pride and the responsibility comes from who the people of this city really are. And artistically, things have grown to a level close to burgeoning. This city is exploding with culture and has become one of the creative epicenters of the world. Don't take my word for it. 
take a good look at what comes out of Toronto. From one of the most influential film festivals in the world, say, in TIFF, to the Inside Out Festival, to the groundbreaking Hot Docs Festival. Filmmakers know audiences here are fertile ground. Our institutions are on par with the world's great arts hubs. From the Four Seasons Center, home to the Canadian Opera Company and the National Ballet, to the AGO and the ROM, Artscapes projects for creativity and community, Harbor Front Center, the Power Plant, the pristine and magically organic acoustics of Massey Hall, Roy Thompson Hall, and the beautiful new Kerner Hall at the Conservatory. And the celebratory festivals, there's nearly one a week all year long, from Luminato to Louis Blanche, the amazing Pride LGBTQ Fest that drew hundreds of thousands to the streets a couple of weekends ago, to the imminent Caribbean Carnival that is always an international destination, don't you know? There's more groundbreaking theater than you could ever see, from Fringe to Factory, Soul Paper to Tarragon, Can Stage to Summer Wars, from Buddies to Shakespeare and Hyde Park, and new companies putting stakes down here too. Toronto is also a city of letters. It's here that we celebrate the Gillers, the Griffin, the Charles Taylor, and the other big prizes. We have the houses from McClellan and Stewart to Anansi holding open the literary door. From Coach House to Insomniac and many, many more. From the open mic poetry to Word on the Street to the International Festival of Authors, the act of writing is something to be witnessed here. Our music scene has continued with limitless potential. From the heady days of indie rock breakthroughs to Drake's world-beating crew, Feist's artistry, and Melody Peel's Grammy-sized voice carrying a tune. The TSO is in good hands, and North by Northeast attracts all those bands. The small world brings music from all over, so you can check it out here at home. And there's jazz, TV jazz, beaches jazz, and just the night the Rex, where you may roam. And of course, this is all in addition to the direct focus of the Pan Am Games. The athletes, the heart of the Canadian collective of sport leaders that finds much of its heart beat here in Toronto. From this city's amazing infrastructure of local and amateur facilities to the professional sports teams that carry the hopes of this town through every season, for every sports fan, for every athletic dreamer, for every Pan Am medalist, there is a reason. But to kick off this event in artistic style, we're not just socially suited to host the Pan Am Games in Toronto, we're culturally primed. Which is why it's exciting to be here in David Pico Square tonight for the unveiling of Play Me On Yours. A month-long installation of 41 different pianos in public spaces throughout the city. A public art project created by Luke Jarrett that first seen in Birmingham, in England. It is genius. Perfect for this place. Here in Toronto, each of the pink pianos has been artistically augmented to reflect the aesthetic and the heritage of each, heritage of each participating band and country. From Argentina to Trinidad and Tobago, from Chile to Canada, Venezuela to Mexico, the USA to Paraguay, Jamaica to Brazil, and 31 more. The decorative work has been undertaken by local artists with connections to each nation. All the pianos are unique, all lovingly restored, all saying, play me, I'm yours, all waiting for you to happen upon them to reach out and tickle the ivories, to create a musical moment out of a flash of inspiration and a little bit of color courage, to create on the spot in a place where the air is rich with expression and contemplation and laughter and emotion, to reflect perhaps on the convergence of many nations in this city every day creating the positive commotion. And to begin the countdown to 2015, which is, after all, not so far away. There's three years upon us and lots to do. Let's get to it. I'm Gian Gomeshi, and I'm a proud Torontonian, too. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Well, and by the way, I would, of the three, I'd rather, I'd most want to be Robin Gibb, if it was... As I was saying those words about Toronto, I was thinking about which BG I would. Um, I, I do have a request before I do the introduction here. Um, what we're about to do is the heart of this project you're about to witness right now that involves um, some of our youngest and most talented citizens sitting at pianos. And what I'm going to ask you to do is if you are standing on the concrete, just step a few, ba a few steps back. Uh, to where the grass is, just for a few minutes. We want you to come back, just so that you for them. This is quite an incredible effort. 
All right, I think we're ready. Are you guys uh, all, all, all at the pianos? Are you you're you're standing? Are you sitting at attention? Don't stand. You all sitting at attention? You're set to go. All right, Maestro. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give you, play me. I'm yours.
for the amazing musical talent that we just heard. Oh, he's so Thank <laughs> you. 